Hack number one, start training to build muscle now if you aren't already. Muscle growth requires more calories, more energy. And as you're leading up into the holidays and all these parties, as long as you don't eat your face off, you're gonna be absolutely fine. If you're resistance training, any surplus in calories, some of that's going to go to muscle growth. Studies also show that when you overfeed, your metabolism naturally increases. And then of course you might store just a little bit of body fat. And on that topic, if you wanna get started in a program, I wanna give you a free full program that's gonna get you set up on nutrition and training. At the end of this video, go down and click the link at the top of the description box. But with all that said, let's move on to hack number two. Welcome to Dad Bod Fitness. If you and I are just meeting, my name is David, and I help crazy busy moms and dads to be able to build a physique. If you want to maximize your muscle growth, you want to strip the body fat and transform your life, even while still leading a family, consider subscribing. Now, hack number 10 is very important, and I want to make sure you don't miss it. So hang on till number 10, because that's going to be one you don't want to walk away without hearing. I want you to always have something to drink. Now, here's the key is make sure it's got zero calories or very low calories. Having something to drink is going to take your mind off eating, it's going to fill your belly a little bit, and it's also going to help you to feel like you're still enjoying food and drink while you're still having fun with your family and friends. Now this could be something like obviously just water, or seltzer water is great, the carbonation helps to fill you up, or for that matter, and I don't usually recommend this, but at a time like a party, to have something that you enjoy drinking, maybe one of your favorite diet sodas, like a Diet Coke or something like that. Normally I don't drink soda, but it's a great option that's zero calories, and for a time where you're trying to prevent additional food intake, it could actually be something that you can enjoy while minimizing any weight gain. So although it's not good over the long term, in this point in time, it can be really beneficial. I would also highly recommend using hot beverages. So something like a black coffee or tea is great. There's a lot of festive teas out there. Warm liquids are going to help you to feel more satiated and full than if you just drank something cold. I also use the Arbon Fizz Sticks. Now if you haven't heard of these, they're fizzy, they taste amazing, and they're only 15 calories. There's a whole bunch of flavors and if you want to check those out, I have a link down in the description below. It's going to help support this channel. Hack number three, try fasting on the day of your holiday party. And I know you might cringe at this, but it works super well. And one of the big things that it does for you is it helps you to detach from food. And I've found this so helpful. I really do this now pretty much on every holiday meal. So on top of the fact that it's detaching you from food, it's also obviously clearing up a lot of additional calories that you can have later on during the day when you actually want them, when there's food there that you really want to be able to enjoy. It helps you to relax and it takes some of the stress off it, knowing you haven't really eaten all day. On top of that, it's very hard for someone to consume two, three, 4,000 calories all in one sitting or even within a few hours. Now granted, some people can do that, but it's unlikely. All right, hack number four is I want you to slow down. Eat slowly, set your fork down, talk with the friends and family around you, really enjoy the company. Not only is that important for your mental health and the connection with the people around you, but it's going to help your body to have time to send a signal to your brain that you're full. So on top of this is also once you finish your meal, before going and getting seconds, I want you to just wait 15 minutes. Guarantee you, you're going to feel a lot different about another plate of food in 15 minutes than you did right after you finished that first one. But eating slowly is going to give your body time to send the signal to your brain that you are full and would you also send me the signal that you're liking this video? Tap that like button and also make sure to hit subscribe and make sure to tap the notification bell as well so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Alright, hack number five, focus on your protein and your veggies first. What this is going to do is really satiate you much more quickly than if you had started with your carbs, whatever carb source it is. But if you start with your protein. It's the most satiating food that you can have. And along with that, veggies are going to fill you up, the fiber is going to fill you up, and fiber is incredibly satiating as well. And this is how I approach any meal ever. Start with those first. This is going to help you because it's going to fill your stomach up, and by the time you finish those, you can really have a better gauge as to what you actually want to eat next. And then you can decide whatever else is being served and whether or not you actually are hungry enough to be able to fit that. Alright, hack number six. Post meal, encourage your family or friends to go for a walk. This helps the focus be a less about food, more about the company and who's with you. It also gets you up and moving, so it's some additional movement that's gonna burn, you know, just a little calories. It doesn't have to be some intense, brisk walk, but that gives you time to be able to enjoy company, focus on the people, and not just on the food. It can also help with your digestion to kind of get up and moving, and more importantly, then you're not gonna be sitting around for long periods of time post-meal looking for more to eat and to consume. All right, hack number seven. Don't try dieting pre-holidays. Now, this might seem really odd, and 
I know some people probably have some success with this, but what this is going to do is you're going to slow down your metabolism before all of these events where you're going to have lots of food and a very ample opportunity to overeat. So what I want you to do is keep eating with the goal to build muscle. Now to build muscle, you need to be eating at maintenance or really slightly above. So eating enough. The bottom line is don't be under eating. It's going to send your hunger signals up and this reduces your metabolic rate. And I don't want that to happen because if you don't do that, it's going to be easier to have a higher maintenance level of calories. Therefore, less likelihood that you're going to put on additional weight. All right, hack number eight. At the parties you're going to, I want you to focus on only those foods that you're really looking forward to. You all know what you're thinking of. I mean, I, there's always certain things that I want and look forward to at those parties. Focus on those foods. There might be other sort of things that are like festive or holiday things that you're not that crazy about, but a lot of times you grab them just because they're there. Focus on the foods that you really want and make those a part of your meal. And maybe set aside the things that are not that interesting to you, but you usually grab just because it's there. Think about what you look forward to most and eat that. And when you eat it, enjoy it. Think about the bites in your mouth, not just the bites on your plate. All right, hack number nine. I want you to be the one to bring a healthy dish. So maybe this is something like a veggie platter or some sort of veggie dish, or it could even be some sort of lean protein dish. If you be the one to bring something like that, then if you get really, really peckish, really hungry, but you don't want to go grab that high calorie dish, you've got some that you can always go back to to fill yourself up and to feel more satiated. All right, and hack number 10, and this is one of the most important ones is I want you to remember this is the holidays. It's an important and cherished time that you can spend with your family and friends. I want you to enjoy it. I want you to relax and remember that unless you really go off the rails and just binge and eat your face off, you're not gonna gain a significant amount of body fat. Health is more than just physical health. It's more than just staying lean. It's all about mental health, spiritual health, and there's physical health. So there's multiple aspects to this and being able to not stress, let go, enjoy the food that's there is a super important way to be able to have some good mental health and time to enjoy food with your family and friends. And along with these other hacks, you're gonna be good to go. If you enjoyed that, would you hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And there's gonna be a couple options for the next video that I would recommend jumping to up on the screen to move on to the next step that you need to know to maintain a healthy lifestyle and build muscle. And of course, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And as always, be intentional and bring the intensity in. I cannot wait to see you on the next video.